And it is discouraging that every time they let us in the game, someone changes the rules. The reality is that we are standing and we want people to understand that our silence does not mean our ignorance. First at five, the People versus Officer Shelby. Tonight, supporters of Terrence Crutcher speak out about what they call a dirty tactic filed just days before her epic courtroom showdown. In just 72 hours, the officer that captured the national spotlight for shooting an unarmed man will be in court on trial for manslaughter. Jury selection begins Monday. Two Works For You reporter Jitzel Puente has reaction today from the police union's ethics complaint against the lead prosecutor. District Attorney Steve Kunzweiler says he has reviewed the complaint, but at this time he won't be commenting on it. He said right now he's just focusing on his duties as district attorney and preparing for the jury trial. In a statement today, DA Kunzweiler said the case involving police officer Betty Shelby needs to be tried in a court of law where the rules of evidence apply. Just two days ago, the Tulsa Fraternal Order of Police filed an ethics complaint against the DA's office. It claims the DA's office was rushed to file charges against officer Betty Shelby before all evidence was turned in. Without the toxicology reports being back, without the final prosecution packet from the investigators, and we feel that that's out of sorts, not proper. But several community leaders are expressing concerns about that complaint. Well, what kind of world would we live in if the very officers who do the investigation then get to make the determination whether or not charges should be brought? That is not the justice system in America. The chairman of the FOP clarifies that the union's complaint is not against the DA himself, but against the quick timing of the charges. He's a fair DA and he is a, uh, above all, a, a professional. However, we feel like in this case there was a, an error. On September 16th of last year, Officer Shelby fatally shot Terrence Crutcher after he refused to comply with multiple commands. Six days later, the DA's office charged Shelby with first degree manslaughter. But this one was so rapid and we felt like uh, with the circumstances surrounding it, with the calls from the community and the possibility of, of unrest that we rush to judgment here and we don't want that to happen. And we don't want that to happen to anyone, not just police officers, but citizens as well. Community leaders say they're not questioning the timing of the charges and all they're seeking is justice for the victim, Terrence Crutcher. Meanwhile, the FOP stands behind its complaint. We just want to call attention to that so that it doesn't happen to anyone, not just police officers, but anyone in the future. We'll be covering the jury trial starting on Monday, so stay with us on Two Works For You for the latest developments. Reporting in downtown Tulsa, Jitzel Puente, Two Works For You.